Hey everyone, what's up guys? I am here today to do a chit chat get ready with me So I'm just gonna be talking up a storm trying on some new makeup I got from the drugstore and just catching up with you guys. I haven't done a get ready with me in Probably two months now because it's February now and I'm like where did January go like for me It went by quickly because I've been really busy with school and stuff So I just feel like this year is already kind of off to a fast start, but I'm not complaining because you girls trying to graduate <laughs> so I've just been really stressed out lately because of that and I've actually like I've just been trying my best and yeah what are my cats doing every time I film they go nuts so in today's video I'm just gonna hang out with you guys chat try some new makeup you know just kind of hang out do makeup together so I am filming in my bedroom today because I really need my desk space it's easier to film get ready's in here just because I have like my everyday makeup essentials like out in front of me But I'm really gonna focus more on trying to use some new stuff today that I've been really excited about I haven't had the chance to try these things yet. So this will be like get ready with me first impressions on makeup chat hang out with you guys and cheers <laughs> so grab a drink and hang out with me my skin is looking a little rough. I've been going through it with my eczema. It's been a really wild ride this past month. Um, I've just been trying to get my skin be feeling back to a normal place. So I actually put on my Proteini from Drunk Elephant when I showered this morning and my skin feels nice and supple. But I recently got this um, hydrating stick from Wet n Wild. I got this at Walmart actually. And they did not have much new makeup. They, the only stuff they had was from Wet n Wild. So I picked up a couple of things and this is one of them. It's just supposed to be like a cooling stick, I believe. So I'm just gonna try it out. Um, I don't think I'll put it right on my breakout area, but I want to try it on the eyes since it's supposed to be cooling. Oh, I've had such a long week, you guys. I am so happy it's Friday. Your girl is tired, okay? So if you comment, you look so tired, you look so different without makeup, girl, because I am tired, okay? <laughs> like, I don't think some people realize YouTube is not my job. It's not the only thing I do. I love it, and it's a part of my life. It's a big part of my life, but it's not the only thing I do, you know? And I have long days like I get up I get up pretty early and I don't go to bed till like 1 a.m. So I don't know. I just have things to do. Okay Ooh, It does feel it feels not too uh, slick. You know what it feels really nice This actually feels really nice and I'm sure you don't have to rub it in but I'm just kind of playing around with it it feels very cooling and doesn't really have a scent to it from what I can tell. I'm gonna get back to you guys on this, but so far it feels nice. I can't really tell you how hydrating it is because my skin's already pretty hydrated from my skincare that I did this morning. Um, I just put on Proteini and a little bit of jojoba oil. I recently ran out of my Marula oil. I finished it all up. So I've been trying jojoba oil because um, a really good friend of mine told me that's what she uses and her skin is like the softest skin ever. Like it, it feels great. So I trust her. I'm gonna try it out. I've just been using the one from Trader Joe's and it's like I think seven bucks for a big bottle. Look at you guys, I'm running out of my lip soul too. Okay, this is a little gross, but we're all we're all friends here. I don't care. <laughs> so I'm just digging into it and I'm gonna apply it like this. Cause you know what? I need to use all of my stuff up this year. I'm all about it. All about trying to really use up products before I buy new ones. With the exception of some, you know drugstore releases because that's like my fun time that's what i like to talk about mostly but i've been pretty good like i finished up my my powder one of my loose powders so i recently bought another one from physicians formula and it happened to be new too so you know i've really been trying to work on that not getting everything all the time like i'm trying to replace things i actually run out of you know reasonably and it's it's hard because when you have like somewhere that you like review makeup and stuff it you kind of almost feel like you have to buy stuff even though i physically not physically but you know monetarily i can't buy everything you know this is just my cover effects natural finish foundation it's like my everyday wear type of everyday every occasion it's just perfect for my skin and i'm using this elf ultimate blending brush to just kind of blend that i'm, I'm only putting a little foundation because you know what guys like Honestly, I'm not really going anywhere today. So this is just me playing with makeup right now <laughs> Like I don't need to look fancy today. I'm not going on a date tonight 
you know so yeah I can't believe that it's already like we're already in February full swing Valentine's Day is next week but I have school and my boyfriend has school all day too so usually we just go out to dinner I mean Valentine's Day is like we just go out to eat somewhere but I don't think we can do that this year because we both go to school all day <laughs> and I'm like oh how romantic so I think we might make up for it um, this weekend on Valentine's Day we usually just go eat somewhere because that's what we like to do <laughs> or maybe go to a show recently we did go to a show it was like at the end of January so it was I think it was two weeks ago maybe a week ago I don't know but we saw one of our favorite rappers and it was really a small like intimate venue so it was super cool it was awesome JID we saw him and it was like he was so good live and the tickets were really affordable that's what I love about smaller shows like festivals are fun but they're really expensive like Flogna is my favorite we always go to Camp Flogna every year but I don't know if I can make it this year because textbooks are killing me <laughs> oh my gosh I can't tell you how much my budget has gone to textbooks what are you guys doing back there I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this concealer it's the cover effects power play and I use this as my eye primer because this stuff is full coverage so I just put a little bit here I didn't get a lot of sleep last night so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna put a little more than usual down in there oh girl so and then I like to kind of cover up my blemishes over there you know girl it's just been a rough month it's been a lot I've been doing a lot I've been having a lot of presentations I'm taking public speaking right now because I have to and it's required and it is one of the hardest like for me it's one of the hardest classes because I am not comfortable with it I'm just gonna be honest I'm not that comfortable with it and I know what you're thinking you're doing it right now well kind of because actually right now I'm talking to like it, it's different it's different I feel like it's it's different because you actually have eyes watching you and like I know you guys are watching me too right now but it's kind of through a screen it's kind of a little bit more controlled if I say something that I didn't mean to if I, if I fumble on my words I can just edit that out you know it is all kind of it's just so different like it's two different worlds so it's not the same and I I've done plenty of public speaking before in other classes I've had projects you know I I'm I'm not like new to it but it's just something about it is so it's just nerve-wracking for me and I I've never really talked in front of a group of like probably more than a hundred people in this class so it's really been a challenge like I'm not even gonna lie it's been a challenge for me and um, you know it's it's not easy but I feel like slowly this class is kind of breaking me out of my little bubble of my little comfort zone and it's become a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be because when I signed up for this class I was like man you know what can I like get out of this somehow like can I <laughs> can I uh, take it online or something I'm like do they have it like online can I just because I'm so used to doing that you know I'm just like can we Skype each other can we FaceTime this class I don't think you know like I was just making up all these reasons why I was going to be so scared and whatever and yeah the first speech we had to give it was very nerve-wracking for me but um we went in an alphabetical order presenting wise and a couple people went before me I'm kind of in the middle because my last name starts with an F right so I saw other people go up there first and just seeing them kind of be nervous about it, it yeah it made me feel nervous too but it made me feel like okay everyone feels pretty much like I do you know even if some people don't I just kind of rationalize it that way so that I can get up there and do it and it's funny because like once I'm up there I feel like I do fine I feel like I'm great once I'm up there but it's just like the anticipation of it like the night before that is the most difficult part about it it's like just the you thinking about it too much in your head and thinking of all the worst outcomes I don't know why my mind goes that way but it does I'll just think like what if I trip while I walk up there or like you know it's just stupid things like that but as I've been going through this class I realize it's not that bad <laughs> it's really it's really not that bad and I just need to do it 
So that's where I'm at right now. That's what I'm up to. And the other course, um, I'm just taking an, an, a writing class. And it's uh, that's pretty hard for me too because I don't really consider myself a strong writer. But, you know, I guess everyone starts somewhere. That's why I'm taking this class so I could get better at it. Oh my goodness. I really want to try these out today. I still haven't had the chance to like really dig into them. I just haven't had time lately. So I'm going to do it with you guys. These are the butter palettes from Physicians Formula. This one is Tropical Days. I think I'm going to get into some of these mattes in here. And this one is Sultry Nights. Looks like Sultry Nights has a bit more shimmery colors. So I think I'm going to just use both today and kind of pick and choose and see what what looks good? Ooh, look at this packaging. I'm gonna dip into this one first. It's called Coastal Chic. They all have um, individual names here on the back of the packaging, which is cool. I don't think I've tried a palette from Physicians Formula that's ever been this big. I mean, I'm sure they've done palettes in the past, but I haven't tried one, any one that looks like this before. And it smells just like the Butter Bronzer. It's very strong. It smells like that um, coconut kind of scent. Ooh, it's a nice nude color. You know, I hit pan on like all of my nude shades in my neutral matte palette, the Viseart one. So I actually kind of need something that will work for me like as a daily type of, um, you know, eyeshadow palette. And this one looks like it could be very versatile in that way where like you can use it for day looks like everyday looks and night looks and um yeah i can't believe i actually hit pan on a palette <laughs> it's crazy but i use that thing like almost every day i'm just taking another brush to kind of blend this color out and i'm filming in front of my window so if you hear the squirrels it's friday so they're a little happy they're a little crazy it's funny because the squirrels, they'll like actually climb down the trees and stare at my cats and then my cats try to stare at them and they try to like leap through the window and it's just, I don't know, these cats and these squirrels, they definitely taunt each other and it's really funny to watch it but I have to be careful like I definitely don't let my cats out unless I'm with them just because I live by a busy street and um, my cats are indoor cats, but they do like to go on walks. So I take them for walks every day. Or walkies as we call it. We take them for walkies every day. Oh, that was a squirrel. Did you hear it? <laughs> they like jump down and they're distracting me. This blends so easily. I really like it. It looks a little powdery. Like when you hit your brush in it, it does kind of get a little... It's soft. It has a soft texture. Definitely buttery. It feels just like the bronzer. It has that same kind of almost um, powder to cream texture to it. I think the layout is interesting here. I think that they did it like in quads. So like this is group one, group two, group three. I think that's how they like designed this to, to work. So um, I'm not going to follow that. <laughs> I'm going to go straight into this warm orange color because... It's calling my name. It is calling my name. And this is called, what is it? Heat Wave. I got these at CVS, um, but I think you can get them from Ulta, Physicians Formulas website as well. You could order them directly. We're having a heat wave, tropical heat wave. I used to love that song, oh my gosh. I mean, I still do. I watched a lot of old Hollywood movies growing up as a kid because my grandma would play them. She always had them on in the background. And I got so into Marilyn Monroe movies when I was a little girl. I was I was that I was that girl. I was obsessed with Marilyn Monroe. And um, as I got older, I got more into like dramatic Betty Davis movies. And um, you know what? I remember walking. Okay, this is gonna make me sound really old. I don't care. I'm gonna be 25 this year. I don't care. Like, girl, I'm happy to be getting older because I feel just like I'm ready for it. I don't know. Anyway. Back to what I was saying, movies. I used to rent old movies in the summers when I had nothing to do. This was like when I was a kid and you feel like summer lasts forever. Um, I used to walk to the video store and they had um, five movies, five, it was for the, for the older movies, five movies for $5. So I would rent five old Hollywood movies 
and just, you know, have a little movie marathon in the summertime. And it was the best thing ever. I had my own movie card. Like every week I would go down there, get my five for five, and then I'd return them the next week. And, you know, I did that all summer long. And I think that's where my love of movies kind of really began and grew because I just remember going to the video store. Like it was the coolest thing. It, it was the thing to do for sure. And um, they used to sell like bunch of candy in there and you just go in and pick out your candy and get your five for five walk home on those like really nice summer days where like the sun it was just like sunset and it was starting to get like a little bit cool but it's still so warm outside yeah but when I when I got into like maybe like I'd say 12 13 11 12 like that age I started to really fall in love with 80s movies and um, my parents liked that because they grew up in the 80s and they liked me, you know, to see what they watch as a kid and stuff. So we would watch 80s movies together. And I remember loving this movie called Breakin'. And there's a second one, Breakin' 2. And it was like all about like break dancing and stuff. And as a kid, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And of course, they had the best music. Like, it was just the best. Like, that movie, I feel like no one talks about it unless you watched it growing up or something because it's not like a big movie i mean i don't know i don't really know if it was a big movie but that's like one of the one of my favorite movies of all time for sure here is sultry nights looks like it has some really nice shimmers right in there i'm gonna try this one right now it's called sunset vista and it looks like it has a bit of a orangey tinge to it like a warm tone so I'm gonna check this out and see how it goes on top of the uh, tropical heat wave color. Hmm. It looks kind of like a pearl finish. It's actually not as shimmery as I thought it was gonna be, but it feels so nice going on. I mean, it's not difficult to get it off. It transfers well, like from the skin. Wow, that's. That feels nice. It does feel like butter. Ooh, okay. I was afraid I wasn't going to like these because of how expensive they were for considering, you know, drugstore prices and all. But I got to say, I think I like it so far. I mean, it's only been day one. We got to chill. Got to slow our roll. It did come with this little sponge, double-ended sponge tip applicator. By the way, I think Striking Copper from Maybelline was discontinued because I don't see it anymore at any drugstores not even at like cvs or walgreens anymore so they told me they didn't discontinue it though i tweeted them and i asked and they said no it's not been discontinued but i don't see it anymore at the store so since i can't find shrek and copper it's actually kind of forced me to use other eyeliners in my collection and i found a great one from Urban Decay actually and it's kind of reminding me of this heat wave color so that's why I brought it up it's called torch and there's no shimmer in it it's just a solid color let me show you guys just a color without shimmer or anything um, so it doesn't give the same I think like brightening effect but it does last all day and I'm just gonna put that on right now before I forget because it looks really nice with this color I want to go back into this palette so I'm trying this color called sundown that looks so pretty. It's like a rich gold. Ooh, it's a little bit of a deeper gold. Okay, we gotta put this on. I'm gonna put it right here. These two need to be in a little duo. Honestly, that would be awesome if Physicians Formula, like let's say these palettes do well. I think if they came out with little duos of these formula, of, of these eyeshadows, like maybe a matte and a shimmer, oh, it would be on. It would be so on at the drugstore. Positions formula, I just gave you guys a good idea. You should do it. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Can't stop putting it on my eye. Ooh, that is so nice. I love that. I love that. There's still enough. I could probably do a swatch right here. Look at that. It really feels like a cream. The, uh, even the mattes, the mattes and the shimmers, they feel like the same texture as the butter bronzer. The matte and the cream both have the same texture as the butter bronzer, but I say they're even a little more buttery to the touch, a little bit more smooth. And I'm just taking a clean 
brush to kind of maybe blend it out. I don't know, girl. I'm trying my best, okay? <laughs> I'm going to use just a touch of ColourPop Ladybird Super Shock Shadow because I like to use this to brighten up the inner corners a little bit. So I'm going to see how that looks. I don't know. Could look bad. Could look good. We don't know. Don't know until we try. Oh, I think that looks cute. I don't have any new drugstore eyeliners, so I'm just going to use my Urban Decay pen. This is kind of on its last legs. I've had this open for probably four months. So I've been using it though like every day. That's my cat on his cat scratcher. You know what? I actually bought that cat scratcher with my casino money. <laughs> I went gambling with my boyfriend's mom and I won you guys. I won 50 bucks, so I bought a cat scratcher. It's a big one though, it's really nice. I need to set this concealer before it like creases. So I'm gonna check out this new powder I got from Physicians Formula. This is Mineral Wear Loose Powder SPF 16, and I got the lightest shade they had at Walmart. It's just called Translucent Light. And um, I haven't tried a loose powder from the drugstore for a while, so we'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh, this is hard to open. There we go. All right. I'm gonna just try to put it in the lid. Let's see if that works. Oh, oh, got a little too much. <laughs> I'm gonna just use the little thingy it has here. It looks like a little mushroom, like a little mushroom. Yeah, I'm hungry now. <laughs> this is interesting. Ooh, I think this shade's too dark. Oh no, <laughs> it's a little bit orangey and I just put it all over my chin. Okay, hold on. There's still some foundation on this. So I'm gonna try to get that orange off. It's gonna look orange, it's gonna oxidize probably because of the SPF in here. Man, that's a shame, it feels nice. It feels like, like a very fine um, texture. I like the texture of it. it. It might work for you guys if you have, um, you know, a, a, a shade that will match your skin tone. I think that'll work if you can find your shade, but I think if you're kind of on the pale side, I don't know if you want to risk it. I mean, this time of the year, I'm even more pale than I um, usually am, but just because it's, you know, it's not summer yet, but I'm gonna just go in with my little sample size of my Laura Mercier. Oh, hi! I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup lately. I just haven't had time. It's just been that kind of week, you know? And my eczema, oh my gosh. I talked about it a little bit on my Insta story, but it was so cold and um, wet here and my skin just kind of freaked out. I don't know why my skin just could not handle it. So I had to go to the urgent care because my doctor is like booked, my dermatologist. You can't see them for like three months. You know, you can't just walk in. So. I just went to urgent care instead and they were like, your skin is probably the worst we've seen like in a long time and you definitely need medication for that. So luckily I got some and I feel so much better. It was so cracked that it was like bleeding and I couldn't even bend my hand like this. But now it's, um, you know, it's at least kind of back to normal. It's still very rough, but it's not burning. It's not in that, you know, pain that I was in. I'm pretty sure we were at bronzer. I haven't, I still haven't even put on any cheek products. Like girl, my makeup needs to get finished. Okay. So here we go. This is the new bronzer from Milani. I recently talked about this in my uh, January favorites video. I have the shade sunlight here. It's really warm toned actually, and it is light enough for my skin tone. I just can't stop wearing this. And I am usually not somebody who really wears a lot of bronzer, but I've just been having so much fun playing with this one. I just kind of take a couple of swirls with my brush. That's really all I do, just because I wear it pretty lightly. And sometimes I actually even tap it on first, and then I blend it out afterwards. So just like that, I tap it on, and I, I kind of just stop there. That's usually all I use, and that's why I have been buying one bronzer at a time, because Bronzer lasts me for like a whole year pretty much. I just finished my Milk Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced recently and I had it for I think about a year. So 
bronzer is just one of those things that I don't really buy a lot of. I don't really try a lot of new ones. So when I do try new ones and they end up working out for me, I get really excited about it because that doesn't usually happen. I mean, it's so hard to find a bronzer that doesn't overwhelm me, you know? And that's why I don't I don't really wear a lot of it. I I just kind of have my little fun, you know? It's just like it's just like a little something, but I am definitely more of a blush and highlighter person. I just love my highlight. That's that's what I really love to try when it comes to trying new makeup and stuff. Highlight is my absolute favorite. And I am filming in front of my window, so if the sun kind of shifted, it's you know, it's the sun. <laughs> I can't really control that but we have beautiful clear skies today it's not raining right now and um it's been really stormy the past two weeks actually and there was like there was like ice on the roads and ice on my windshield i had to like it was it was not i am not used to that type of weather i i was just like wow this is different i'm just gonna use um this is the blush i have this is the, the only blush i have at the moment I don't have a new drugstore one. I am looking though to try some new blushes because I'm out soon. This is the Tarte Party Blush. I'm just using this blush because I'm trying to finish it this year. This is the Tarte Party Blush. It's in the shade Party Amazonian Clay Blush. I got this for my birthday. I think it was a Sephora. No, it came in a Sephora Play Box, but this one was gifted as a birthday gift, I think a while back. Ooh, I just put a lot. Oh my gosh, my bad. <laughs> we're gonna have some rosy cheeks today sometimes when you get to the last bits of it little pieces it's it's kind of hard so I just really kind of mush my brush in there okay so there's the blush let's do some highlight I have of course the wet and wild highlights but you know what I really want to play with the I keep this on my desk on my little shelf right here the luminoso face palette that I talked about in my favorites video because this palette is awesome it has eight colors in it mine is really dirty I'm sorry <laughs> it looks so bad look in the sunlight <gasps> look at that Ooh, you guys this is what it really looks like in real life like it's so gorgeous I'm gonna put a little bit of this coral color on as a blush I really like this coral color as a blush it has a lot of shimmer in it <gasps> look at that look at how pretty that is oh my gosh you guys in the sunlight okay I'm just gonna tap a little bit of that off because it's a pigmented color so I'm going to top off my blush I feel like this palette is awesome because you get highlighter colors blush shades couple of like neutral tones you could do so much with this you can mix and match too I've been kind of really playing around with it and um i'm not going anywhere like i said so if i look crazy <laughs> i look crazy we don't care and if i do have to go somewhere and my makeup doesn't turn out the way i want i still will leave it on girl i'm not washing this off <laughs> so here is that coral color let me show it to you in the swatch i'm just gonna do a little Ooh, look at that in the natural light let me show you up close look at that color it does have shimmer to it. All of these are really shimmery. I put a swatch of all of the colors on my Instagram. If you guys follow me over there, I usually do pretty good swatches when I find um, really fun new stuff. This color right here, this light pink, has this kind of shift to it. I want to show you in the sunlight what it looks like. So it looks neutral, right? In the, in the sunlight. But then in the shade, look how pink it looks. It's like two different colors. Isn't that awesome? this palette i'm telling you it is so worth it like i think this is one of the best things that milani has done in a while i'm gonna take just a bit of that neutral pinky color i just swatched i just put three blushes on today oh my god i'm living my best life you guys this is so perfect that the sun is right here so i could show it to you guys how different it looks in two different lights you know I'm going to go in with my trusty ColourPop highlighter in Lunch Money. This is one of the first ColourPop products that I purchased. And I love it. It is just so soft and pearly. It, it goes well with my skin tone. It's like a neutral, like, light champagne on the yellow side highlighter. Can you even... Let me see if my camera is focusing. It's very... It's very light. 
it just kind of blends with my skin tone. Can you see it in the light, how it catches it? It's really nice. I think that this formula is probably one of the easiest to work with because I just like to use my fingers actually. And I, I just apply this with my fingers like that. You wanna get in the light real quick? You see that highlighter action? I should film all my highlighter reviews like this, like in the actual direct light. So you can play with the intensity of it. I obviously kind of put a lot on, you know. I can't wait to try more of these. I really love this formula. And honestly, like, I like it so much because you can just see all the different tones of glitter in here. And I think it looks so effortless. It's like that, you know, I woke up like this pretty. It's just so easy to apply. Let me get back <laughs> into the normal light here. So there's the cheek makeup done. I do have um, brows and mascara left. And guess what I found, you guys? Guess what I finally found? The new Milani brow pencil and one of their new mascaras. I just picked one because they have like three right now and I'm like, okay, I don't need three. So I got their Stay Put Sculpting Brow Pencil. I found this at Walgreens and it was buy one get one half. So I think I spent around, I wanna say 14 for each of these. Um, and this is a new brow pencil. They had a quite a few different shades. I bought something that I thought looked similar to my Benefit one. I love this one. This is like my everyday brow pencil right now. And in, in I've been switching off with ColourPop too. So I really didn't need another brow pencil because I'm still using these two that I love. I'm using the Goof Proof from Benefit. This is my favorite one. And then I got this out of curiosity. It's the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil, but it's a little too dark for me. This shade is Bangin' Brunette, I think. It's a little bit too deep because these days I've been doing lighter with my brows. My brow hair finally grew back. I feel like me again. I feel, I'm feeling good about my brows lately. So. Um, I haven't been using as much brow product anymore. I just kind of put a little bit and call it a day. So yeah, this is new, brand new, stay put. It says here on the packaging that it's supposed to last 16 hours. And it seems like it might have a similar tip to the Benefit Goof Proof. It kind of has, they call it an elliptical tip. It says it's water resistant, matte finish, and fills gaps, lasts for 16 hours. So let's get into it because you already know. I, I need to try this today. <laughs> there we go. So it says full color elliptical tip precisely draws hair like strokes Use with our stay put brow shaping gel. I didn't see that at the store. Oh my gosh. I want to try the gel next Okay, yeah, so stay put. Let's see how it goes. This is a pretty wide looking uh, applicator hmm. Ooh, That's interesting. Can you see it? It came out like a little flat noodle. I am hungry, I keep comparing everything to food. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna like get all up in your face, is that cool? That's cool, you know me, we're cool, right? And this was a one of the middle tone colors, they do have deeper ones and lighter ones as well. Wow. I think this looks really nice and there's a spoolie on the edge. Let's pop that open. I like to kind of keep the front part a little bare. So I just use the spoolie to blend. What do you guys think of that? I think I need to go out a little. Ooh, I like that a lot. Oh my gosh, this is pretty. This might be my new uh, brow pencil, guys. Yes, okay, now let's do this brow. I thought the tip was gonna be weird to work with, but it's not overly waxy and it's not too stiff either. It's very smooth. What? That feels really nice. I'm confused. Like, how did they get it to feel like that? This just might be a new dupe for my Goof Proof. And the Goof Proof is like 20 bucks. So it's, you know, it's a high-end product. It's more expensive. But, you know, I'd much rather pay $8 if it's comparable, you know? 
Okay, I gotta get out of that sun. <laughs> Let's do this mascara, okay? This is called their highly rated 10-in-1 volume mascara. It says 94% saw doubled lash thickness, uh, more dramatic volume in one stroke, instant curl, amplifies in one coat. So here's the packaging. It looks cute. Kind of reminds me of like an Oscar party or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's nice. Nice enough. Um, I have to be honest though, Milani mascara has never been like my first choice. I've never been really like blown away by their mascaras. So maybe they're trying to change that in people. I don't know. The tube is cute. Ooh, it's a little dusty looking, but here it is. The tube is actually pretty cute. It has little stars all over it. Let's see what the wand looks like. Pretty standard, standard wand. The color I have is just called black, you know, nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna give my lashes a quick curl. I had to buy a new lash curler because my Shoe Mura one, it broke. And I had it for like, I wanna say five years. I've had it, I got it maybe like a year into doing YouTube. So I've had it, yeah, I think four or five years. And I was really emotional when it broke. I was like, I don't know what to do. Like I, I just felt like a little, piece of my past was gone i don't know i kind of cried over that but whatever <laughs> it's you know life goes on my shoe amara lash curler actually broke recently so i just went and bought this one i think it's just is it revlon i don't even know where i got this it was from the drugstore though and i was really sad because not because of i loved how the lash curler worked but just because i had that lash curler for probably four close to five years like i got it it was one of my first like purchases that i made like i don't know i just felt emotional about it you guys do that like do you have a makeup product that you feel like i bought this when something important happened in my life that's how i felt about it anyway let me put this mascara on but i got so emotional when that lash curler broke because i had it since like the early days of youtube and i don't know i just felt like a little piece of me died or something with my with that lash curler but you know life goes on okay so it's coating the lashes i do feel like it's looking thick but it's not really lengthening oh i just got flakes on my Face. let me wipe those off dust those off real quick see I remember Milani mascaras being very flaky and very dry I'm going to try to really scoop up some more product I feel like there's like nothing on this wand like it's dry I'm gonna give it a good wiggle okay it definitely makes the lashes look thicker. Can you see that? And my lashes are kind of blonde, so, you know, it does help. It's better than nothing, but it's not lengthening. I don't... Okay, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good either. It's definitely like on the dry side. It feels kind of thick and a little bit clumpy. It's definitely got a little bit of a clumpy factor to it. Like it feels kind of thick and it's dry. Like it, it feels like a dry formula. Um, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's all right. I'll have to use it more to see how I like it, but it's okay. N not too great, not amazing. I have this new lip pencil, it's from Milani. It's called their Easy Liner for Lips and it reminds me of the Jordana ones. Didn't they have something called Easy Liner? I think they're from the same company. I think Jordana and Milani are like under the same umbrella. I'm not exactly sure, but I don't see um, why Milani would take away their color statement lip pencils because those wooden pencils, all natural nude, man, that's my favorite and they don't have it anymore all natural i think it's just called all natural the other shade i liked was also i think it was just called nude 
and those you just sharpen them they're traditional pencils they're like five bucks this was like seven on ulta's website and i don't feel like it's worth the money i'm gonna be straight up honest with you guys i've been using it like ever since i bought it last month i feel like it's a little too waxy and the color just doesn't come off as easily it doesn't deposit onto the lips as easily as the traditional wooden pencils that milani had plus there's only two colors of this easy liner available right now two colors are you serious what are you guys doing man you ruined a good thing why why did you do this to me <laughs> um anyway i'm gonna put it on I, I still bought it but i just bought it because i wanted to compare it to the you know lip pencils that i have already and it's just not the same it doesn't deposit the color as strongly it's not that good I think I'm gonna go with my favorite today just because I wear this one all the time and I love this color on me. It's called I Am Smart and it's a very comfortable matte lipstick. I kind of like to just dab it on at first. There we go. So there we go, I Am Smart. This is my favorite one out of all of the lip products that I tried from Milani. This is my favorite color. This is the one I wear the most. And this formula lasts a while on the lips. It's not kiss proof. I mean, it's a traditional matte bullet lipstick. Um, it's really good, I think, for, for being like a rebranded lipstick from Milani. I was a little bit worried because their matte lipsticks were good already as they were, so I'm like, why are you reformulating it? But it's actually really nice, and I think it has um, it has a nice texture to it. It's very lightweight, and it has this marshmallowy vanilla scent to it. Their old lipsticks kind of had like a watermelon Jolly Rancher scent. The ones that came in the gold packaging, those, those were good too, and I liked those mattes, but I think that these are a little bit more airy of a texture. It's like, it kind of feels like... Um, almost like a traditional lipstick, but very weightless. I think that these lipsticks are totally worth it. So if you see a color you like, definitely pick one up, try it out. If you want something that's still gonna be matte, and maybe not super matte, but matte enough and very comfortable. If you're willing to, you know, have more of a satin matte finish, I think you'll like these. This one, I still have to test a little bit more because I felt like when I first wore it, it really dried my lips out, but it could have been, you know, the weather. It could have been so many different things. Um, so I want to play with this a little more before I review that. But um, I could totally do a separate video on these if you want, but I pretty much said it all right there. I think they're very comfortable and um, they apply easily and they have nice colors. The, the pigmentation is wonderful on these bold matte lipsticks. And um, that's pretty much our full face. Look what we did here. I think it's turned out okay for like actually just playing with makeup. And one more thing, I have this um, Prime Set and Refresh spray from Wet n Wild. My camera's gonna die, so I gotta like hurry up and open this. <laughs> but this is another new product I found from Wet n Wild at Walmart. Don't do this at home, kids, but I just used my teeth to open that. I know, really bad, but desperate times call for desperate measures look at how cute this packaging is so this is the cucumber one it says here you can prep set and refresh your makeup with it it's called cool as a cucumber because i believe it's made with cucumber water and let's give this a good spray mm, it smells like cucumbers that's nice this is really i need another one mm, this is relaxing I'm bringing this with me like to midterms like <laughs> this is really good Okay, well, I don't know how well it will set makeup or work as a primer because this was the first time I used it But it smells great. It smells like like fresh fresh glass of cucumber water It's also cruelty free. This was in the same display next to the hydrating stick They do have a matte one I think as well and I think an illuminating one too. This one is just supposed to be the hydrating um, so I might do a whole separate review. Let me know what you guys are interested in. I really hope you enjoyed getting ready with me today. My camera's gonna die, so I'm gonna try to make this quick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.